The Star Wars experience at Madame Tussauds is a, a, a whole brand new area. It comprises of 11 sets with 16 brand new characters from the episodes one to six, and it is an immersive experience. It will feel uh, almost as if you're in the films. You'll be able to interact closely with the characters. We um, had a team of sculptors here and colorists and costume experts go over to the Skywalker Ranch, so we were able to take photographs and measurements of the, of the real thing. So having got all of our material, we then uh, start sculpting. I did the head of Princess Leia. I then get approximately four or five weeks to work on the portrait using all the material that we've then got. So the clay heads are moulded using a very traditional method called a plaster piece mould. We use plaster to make between 13 and 17 individual pieces that make up the entire head and then it's ready for the wax. We melt between 10 and 15 litres worth of wax and then individually colour it for every single head. Then it's ready to go up to a wax bench ready for hair insertion. There's 10,000 hairs in the head, so it's going to take us four weeks to insert the full head. It's made out of human hair, and we insert it individually. Chewbacca has been our most difficult challenge. We've colour matched him from the original film. We've used real yak hair, so it's got a real different texture to Luke's. Um, there's been a whole suit knitted for him, and there's been a team of 10 of us that's had to take different sections of his body, and that's taken over 800 hours. One of the most exciting aspects of this project for Manti Swords is obviously the lightsabers. We've worked very closely with Lucasfilm, replicating them exactly from film reference. To create the costumes, we went to the Skywalker Ranch to the archive and were able to handle original costumes and props from the film, which has been the most amazing resource. It means we've been able to create the most accurate costumes and props. For every single fabric, we had to match and get them signed off by Lucasfilm. So they're as close, if not exactly the same, as the originals, especially for the prequel trilogy. We've had professional breakdown artists come in to break them down as well. So they look like they've been on Tatooine, they look like they've been in battle. You, you will be surrounded by sort of physical effects and light effects and sound effects, you know, like the sound of the lightsabers. We worked very closely with a Lucas-approved maker for Darth Vader, who has used casts from the original costume to make ours. Every detail will be completely screen accurate to the film, down to the smallest scratch on his helmet. It takes a week to colour every head that we do. We use uh, artist oil paints, building up layers, lots and lots of layers, to get the skin effect that we're after. Sometimes it's dry brushing on to get a sort of a more of a matte effect, or if we want a kind of broken skin effect, we'll uh, use a, a technique called spattering, and you'll get a, a kind of airbrush kind of effect. So it's as real and as accurate to how it looks in the film as possible. I personally have been waiting eight years to paint a, a Harrison Ford, and it's really amazing that it's actually hand solo as well. So it's uh, been a great privilege, to be honest. What's really great with the attraction is that it's an interactive experience. So with Han Solo, you can uh, sit opposite him in the cantina scene. You can meet Darth Vader doing the I am your father scene. You can see him also dueling with Luke Skywalker with the lightsabers. There's C-3PO, R2-D2. We've got the Duel of Fate scene you'll be able to see Princess Leia and Jabba the Hutt. And there's even a, a part where you can go into the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon and, and experience going into hyperdrive with Chewbacca. So there are lots and lots of different areas and it's an immersive experience. So you'll really feel like you're, you're part of it.